Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about whole food versus synthetic vitamins, and specifically vitamin B3. So this may be labeled, so check your vitamin labels, and it will say vitamin B3, and then in brackets, it may either say niacin, or niacinamide or nicotinamide. And this would be a great indication that this is synthetically made. And believe it or not, this is usually made from, in the synthetic form, from coal tar, so from the petrochemical industry, as well as ammonia, acids, 3-cyanopyridine, and formaldehyde. So think, yes, dead bodies, formaldehyde, and this could be potentially how your vitamin B3 is extracted when you're taking it in this synthetic form. So this is something that I actually experienced in school when I was studying at the Naturopathic College, and our nutrition teacher, professor, uh, had us do a little experiment, and we didn't know what we were in for at the time I didn't know anything about some of the negative consequences that can happen with taking synthetic vitamins. So niacin is known to cause something called a flushing reaction. So he had everybody in the class take one capsule of the niacin, which is a synthetic vitamin B3. So I took the one capsule and other people, you know, after a few minutes started to have that niacin flush, which is a very uncomfortable, red, itchy rash. and you you feel very flushed and you get hot very quickly. So I took my first tablet, nothing happened. So he said, everybody take another. If you've not experienced anything yet, take another. So I took another, still nothing happened. So then I finally, and if you've, nothing's happening, the professor, professor said, take another. So I took the third one and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, it was like there were ants crawling under my skin. I was hot, I was flushed. I thought, I mean, it was terrible. It felt like a terrible allergic reaction. So just buyer beware. I mean, if you are taking even your multivitamin, it could be your B complex, make sure that you know that it could be synthetically sourced. And if it is niacin, it may cause this niacin flush reaction. And this is something that sometimes you may visit your doctor and you may be, you're getting this rash and it happens around the time of taking your vitamin and you didn't even know that it was correlated with taking that synthetic form of vitamin B3. So now you know. So I want to hear from you in the comment section below because that is something that if you've experienced this, I would love to hear from you. It's not something that everybody is aware of. So the way that I prefer to get my B vitamins, specifically vitamin B3, is to get it from whole food sources. So one of the best food sources in terms of a non-vegetarian source includes the meat. So beef, as well as chicken, has vitamin B3, which is naturally occurring, tuna as well, and also pork. So if you're not a vegetarian, these would be some good sources of that vitamin B3. And of course, for the vegetarians, the best sources include portobello mushrooms, which are great for vitamin B3. Brown rice has vitamin B3 as well. Peanuts also have natural vitamin B3, which is well absorbed. Avocados also have vitamin B3. Sweet potatoes and chlorella. And chlorella is a blue-green algae, which I love because it is complexed with with a number of the other cofactors that help with that B3 absorption, which is really important. It's all about not so much what you're eating, it's what you are actually absorbing. And that bioavailability, that absorption with those co and accessory nutrients within food itself to help with that proper absorption. So I hope that you learned something new today. I would love to hear from you. So please put it in the comment section below. Also, if you have questions about what you've learned today, I would love to hear from you. Be sure to share this video. Also give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your feedback. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe. Also turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so you're always made aware of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.